Hi, I'm Stephen Coy. I'm a developer on Kodu. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about what is Kodu and how you can get it and how to install it. First of all, Kodu is a tool that lets you create your own games and along the way teaches you some simple programming. To get Kodu, you need to go to the Fuse Labs website at Microsoft. The address for that is fuse.microsoft.com. This is the Fuse Labs website. Here in the lower right is the Kodu block. You click on that and that takes you to the Kodu page. Now I want to point out that we do have a Kodu blog. You be sure to check that out. But for right now, what we want to do is download Kodu. At the top, you see Try Kodu Now. Click on that and that will bring you to the Microsoft Download Center page for Kodu where you can click Download the operating system will ask you whether you want to run or save the file. I'm just going to click Run, and it starts downloading. Okay, once it's downloaded, the operating system will ask you whether you want to actually run the program what to install it. And yes, we want to choose Run. Read through the license agreement. Click the Accept. Click the Install. Now here's two questions that we want to ask you. First of all, would you like to have Kodu check for updates at the start? This doesn't send any personally identifiable information. What it does, it just has Kodu ping back to our server to see if there is a new version available automatically so you don't have to come and check yourself. The second one is, would you like to help us improve Kodu by allowing usage information to be sent back? Here again, we're not sending any information that's able to identify you or your computer. We're just trying to gather information about which menu options you choose and how long you spend editing your world as opposed to playing the games in the world. Once you've made your choice, click Next and the actual installation starts. One thing that we just we didn't see during the install we just did that you might see on your machine, depending on what's already installed in the machine, is a request from the system to install .NET 3.5 and the XNA Game Studio redistributable. Both of these are required for Kodu to run correctly, so when you're asked to install those, please say yes, otherwise Kodu won't work at all. Okay, we're done. Kodu is installed. Click Finish. Let me hide these. And if you'll notice over here, we now have two new icons on our desktop. One is Kodu Game Lab, which is the game itself, and the other is Configure Kodu Game Lab. We'll get to the configuration in a later tutorial, so let's dive right into Kodu.